Okay, switching gears back here at home, a local business owner is showing off her brand new cakery. This is a great story. You may remember from a couple months ago, yeah. we brought you the story of Cora's Cakery. Yep. Uh, we saw this start from, you know, uh, an incubator and yes. developed into a brick and mortar store. I love it. I was yep. listening to the last hit that you did, Ken, and you were saying, you know, it took two and a half years for them to get from the incubator then to finally have their own brick and mortar place. That is such a huge sign of success for this small business. Yeah, you know, we talk about it. You know, everyone always wants to celebrate and clap, and they see people on Facebook posting down that mountaintop experience. I'll say it, but no one talks about the grit that it took. Uh, Shaquana, if you guys remember last time, we were rolling our chocolate chip cookies. Look at those bad boys. Those look fantastic. I jokingly, I asked her, I said, uh, are they always this big, or did you do this for TV? <laughs> nope, they're always that big. <laughs> okay, but they were talking a little bit about your backstory. So give it to the folks. We met you in May. You were over in Newport at the time, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, at the Incubator Kitchen Collective, um, ran by Rachel DeRocher, and now we're here at 1426 Way Street. And inside that incubator, for the folks who weren't watching that day, there's different little restaurants, mm -hmm. barbecue guys and stuff. Like, we were like this on mm -hmm. TV, trying to make sure nobody else got in. <laughs> but now we're all sprawled out yes. in the 1400 block of a uh, race. This is gorgeous. Yes, absolutely. All right, so what are we making now with your peanut butter cookies? So right now we are going to roll out our peanut butter cookies. We're going to weigh those at three ounces. Okay. Um, Why are we put, doing three ounces? Well, I just like for my cookies to have some trunk to them. Um, so I feel like three ounces is just the right amount that you need. Right, and when we were making these chocolate chips, she doesn't mess around. She was like, you need to make sure those are uh, three ounces. All right, is that good, Brett? Yes. A little over. All right, so what are the, some tips at home if people are baking cookies? Obviously, you've perfected it because you have your business out. What's What do we need to know? So just definitely just pay attention to the recipe. Mm -hmm. um, to make sure you're paying attention to what your oven temperatures and things are on in so that you're not over baking. Um, that will make them dry out. Um, you don't want to over mix, all those different things. Right, and then also, I think last time I was with you, you said instead of using uh, the measuring cup, yes. we should be also weighing our flour, correct? Yes, I weigh my flour a lot of times if the recipe calls for it. Um, I'll weigh my flour just because the measuring cups is a lot different than weighing it at the scale. Okay, so your new business, your new home, just grand opening Saturday. What can we expect out of uh, Chorus Cakery? So you will expect ready-made desserts here available for you to come in Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, we do custom orders as well for custom cakes and cupcakes and things like that. We ask for a week in advance notice, but then we'll also be offering our classes starting next month. We will be doing our heart cake classes for Valentine's Day, so watch out for that on our social media and our website. All right, so I'm doing no sugar, no alcohol for the new year, but I'm going to take a small bite because I am so celebrating you. And this does not count. All right, so what, what is this here? Uh, that is our pineapple upside down cupcake. So that has a pineapple in the buttercream as well as our cherry and our strawberry on top. Well, this is probably like one carb, right? No. <laughs> she laughed. So worth it. <laughs> so worth it. And Guys, you gotta come down here. Isn't tomorrow your birthday? Yes. It is my birthday. Yes, I'll so be a, an a old cupcake, 35. Eat you can eat <laughs> Congratulations to her. And by the way, do, should we waste money for you tomorrow on a cake or should we buy you like a fruit bowl? We could do an angel food well, cake. Well, Lauren asked the same thing. I said I want probably like, you know, a Quest bar or maybe like a vegetable tray, but you guys can eat the cupcakes. I'm, not, I'm giving myself the gift of health this year. Oh, very good. And we're all going to die. So it's great. Yeah. More sugar for us. Perfect. <laughs>